In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a rear wheel bearing on your Subaru Impreza. Remove the five 19 millimeter lug nuts. Remove your wheel. Remove the dust cap on the rotor, pocket screwdriver. There's a star wheel that will allow the shoes to compress. To loosen the shoes, turn the star key clockwise. You can either use a flathead screwdriver or a drum brake tool. Using a 14 millimeter socket, I'm gonna remove the caliper bracket bolts. Remove the caliper bracket assembly with a flat blade screwdriver. Put it out of the way and make sure there's no tension on the hose. Using a 10 millimeter socket, I'm gonna remove the ABS sensor bolt. Using a pair of pliers, I'm gonna grab the ABS sensor and slightly wiggle side to side. You wanna be careful because these sensors are plastic and they can break in the hole very easily. Once it starts moving freely, pull up and remove the ABS sensor. Tuck it out of the way. Remove the rotor. You can use a hammer and tap around the hat of the rotor to try and free up. If you are going to reuse the rotor, you are not going to want to hit the face or the back at all. And remove the rotor. Using a 32 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the axle nut. If you're gonna be Using a slide hammer to remove the hub, you're going to want to finger tight the axle nut back onto the spindle to make sure that the hub does not separate from the bearing. If you're going to be using an air hammer to remove the wheel bearing, you do not need the axle nut hand tight on the spindle. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the four wheel bearing bolts.
using an air hammer with a chisel. I'm going to put it in between the ear and the wheel bearing and hammer there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Keep going back and forth with your air hammer. If you're having trouble getting it out, it is a good idea to use a penetrating fluid and spray it in this area. If you're using an air hammer, you want to do your best to try and not mar the knuckle surface. If you do, you can just clean it up with a whizzer wheel after, but try to not take a bunch of material off. Push the axle out of the hub, and then you are able to take it out. Holding the parking shoe slash dust shield, we are going to use a big hammer and hit the back of the bearing out of the backing plate. It's good to have a barrel under for when the bearing falls. Using a wire brush, clean inside of this knuckle surface and also on the face. You will also want to clean inside of this backing plate Install the new wheel bearing hub assembly into the backing plate. Line up the splines on the spindle with the splines in the hub. and then line up the bolt holes. Line up your bolt holes. Make sure your axle is seated in. And start your bolts finger tight. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're going to tighten these down. Make sure to tighten them in a cross pattern. Make sure the wheel bearing seats in correctly. Torque the four wheel bearing bolts with a 14 millimeter to 53 foot pounds. being sure to torque them in a cross pattern. Install your ABS sensor. You can fit a torque wrench in here, torque it to five and a half foot pounds. If not, do the best you can. Install your axle nut.
and we're going to torque it down to 162 foot-pounds. You can either put the car on the ground to hold the wheel or put a pry bar in the studs to hold it while you torque the axle nut. the rotor on, you're going to want to now adjust your adjuster until you feel the shoes mostly stop the rotor and then back it off three clicks. To make the shoes expand, we're going to twist the adjuster counterclockwise. Rotor's locked down. We're going to come off a few clicks. Use a punch and lock the axle nut in. Install your dust cap. Install your caliper. Using a 14 millimeter, I'm going to tighten down the bolts. Torque your caliper bracket bolts to 48 foot pounds. Install the rear wheel. Finger tight your five lug nuts. Tighten them down in a star pattern. Now that our car is on the ground, I'm going to tighten our five 19 millimeter lug nuts in a star pattern to 100 foot pounds. I like to do it twice just to make sure. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.